Yo, what's good fam? How are y'all doing to all my captains out there? I hope y'all doing great. Today is January 1st, 2018. It is a new year. No, it's not a new you. It's just a better you. It's a better me. This goal, just wanted to kind of talk to you about like little things here and there that I plan on doing. It's very focusing on my overall health and wellness, not physical, but my mental. I know physically I can always get there. I've done it before. Mentally, I feel like a lot of people, and especially me, that I've been lacking in that state of taking care of my mental health. You take care of your mental health, your physical and spiritual, that all comes along with it. But a couple of disciplines I want to get into is meditating, listening to myself. So people have like motivational speeches that they listen to, this kind of third, but I actually created my own, basically talking to myself. And I actually want to say third person. Uh, made a voice recording and just listening to that as motivation instead of listening to other people. Granted, it's not bad to listen to other people, but I feel like we don't listen to ourselves enough. So I feel like that will kind of, you know, fill that gap. Second, uh, learning some new disciplines uh, far as eating. So my boy, Mike Rashid, I said my boy, like, I, I like, you know, but like, he's a great mentor from afar that I look up to. He does this thing like one meal a day, lost great results. And I feel like that's something challenging for me to do. Granted, <clears throat> will there be times that I might not eat one meal a day? Yeah, because like, depending on the situation, it's that a third, you know, you still got to enjoy what people you love. But for the most part, throughout the week, I'm just going to be eating one meal a day. Granted, it's a big meal, and I'm not going to really worry about too much of the macros, but making sure I really get my fruits and veggies in to wipe out my system and have a great digestive system. Also, I'm switching up my training to more strength and conditioning and not just the fact of bodybuilding because I don't plan on becoming a professional bodybuilder or anything, but I do want to make sure that I'm able to, <clears throat> you know, do a lot of stuff, a lot of movements or whatever, like I'm doing right now because I'm moving a lot. And I honestly wish I had a hat because my hair is growing. Anyway, back to the subject. Um, get back to that because that's what I started doing when I first was losing weight, you know, from 285 and then I dropped down during high school to 215, a lot of running, a lot of, you know, body weight, but still hitting the gym. So I want to get back into doing that. I'm also looking into getting to boxing some, but, um, Yes, second, no, third, uh, there's a long list of things I, I plan on doing, but really honing my skills and my techniques when it comes to art, learning design, though I know I kind of have a design concept, you know, mind frame, but getting better at it and incorporating that into my fitness, into, you know, the things I want to achieve and really building on my own platforms while also building connections between people. I feel like I've lost that connection, you know, ability to, not to say not to talk to somebody, but you know, really get in that full depth conversation or like, I don't know, you know what I mean. But as far as like my own relationships, like for me personally, like first and foremost, off rip, connecting with myself, connecting with my loved ones, families, friends, girlfriends, everybody like yes but also getting out there and just meeting new people as far as you know seeing what others are doing in life and just building those connections i feel like that's a key important factor to me because i know when i was <clears throat> growing up i was always that social person like i see somebody i'll just randomly walk up to them and be like hey how you doing you know like just spark up a conversation or just be like yo you know you look very nice today or this guy girl like whatever it is and just being able to constantly give out positivity, give out good vibes, give out great energy. And I'm very excited because 2017, I'm not going to lie to y'all, 2017 was one hell of a adventure for me. And right now I'm like in the back, like the, I'm, at, I'm at work. I'm going to work for like next 20 minutes, I believe. But I just kind of, I was eating my one meal and I wanted to get this out. And yeah, so 2017 was a very interesting year to me. It was a lot of ups and downs. But for the most part, I want to say there was a lot of like waves after waves of being down. And as 2017 started to end and we was on my <clears throat> and I was on my winter break, I realized that those downs, those, you know, constant waves of this, that, and third 
was honestly learning experiences because I feel that to take myself to the next level, the things I want to do, I want to achieve and want to be, I have to learn to be able to be comfortable with those failures, be able to be comfortable with those that process that things are going, like as, as you become better in something, the harder it becomes, like the more difficult it gets. There's more responsibilities, there's more, you know, this, that, and the third. And I feel that 2017 was that learning platform for me, though I was just like, when 2016 was ending, I was like, bet, 2017, I'm gonna come in, hard, bam, mm, mm. But, started off right, and I won't say it ended off wrong, I wanna say it ended off right because learning <clears throat> from your failures is just as important as the rewards from your successes. And understanding that, grasping that, and taking all of this knowledge from those experiences, them trial and error as those failures per se, and looking over it and being like, bet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these, make a list of it, how can we make this better? How can we make sure this doesn't happen again? This, then the third, and I've done that, and I'm so happy that I did, because there's a lot that I plan on doing and growing from. And I hope that y'all can see this. Hope y'all can, you know, see the growth starting today. But, um, yeah, I just, <clears throat> I was so close to not, like, doing this video right now. But because, like, I'm going to say that my Adobe Suite ain't working right now. So I wanted to get the music, this, that, and third. But, you know, it's it's not to be fancy. It's just, I told myself I want to produce content. And all of it doesn't always have to be the best content it just needs to be out there and i'm documenting i'm not trying to create something right now that'll come like whenever the ideas flow but oh i got this concept let's do this but as far i just i literally want to document everything whether this is like a small little daily talk and then once three times a week something a nice video comes out like whatever edit but as far as just document i just want to document everything man i want to be able to look at this and reflect and be like yo I remember I made that video at the beginning of the year and I told myself hey I'm gonna do this that and the third I'm gonna learn from this that and the third I was dealing with this that and the third and at the end of the year I was able to scratch that off time and time and over again so yeah anyway I'm rocking obey obey the laws of nature your laws but, um, I'm gonna finish up my one meal I'm not gonna lie People are probably thinking, this is a long video, I know. It's a freaking rant. I'm gonna try to get done in the next minute. Um, I was always per se skeptical about the whole eating one, some, one meal a day because diets or eating is so different. It's so if ands and buts. But <clears throat> it's all a part of learning, disciplining yourself, and trying new things. You never know what's gonna really work best for you if you don't try something different. I've tried eating six, seven times a day. I've tried intermittent fasting, this, that, and that. I've tried, out, tried a lot of stuff. So now I'm putting myself in a state to where I'm trying something different. I wanna do something different. The discipline of eating one meal a day has actually been kinda of, kind of good. Like, I, I can't complain. My energy level isn't low. Like, I don't feel depleted. I work out before, on an empty stomach before, going, uh, before having my meal. And then when I have my meal, I just have, you know, a big portion. And I eat a lot of greens, I eat a lot of fruits, <clears throat> a lot of beans, and occasionally I'll throw in some protein as far as, like, meat. And I haven't had that much chicken. I've been uh, transferring to, like, more fish. Literally, how micro, like, take a mentor, take somebody you look up to, see how they do, and literally just, per se, replicate it. You're not, like becoming them but you're learning from them and you're just seeing oh does this kind of work for me let me see because i admire what this person does let me see if i can incorporate this into my own life and it works for me so that's what i'm doing so if you go in there and just go to micro she's website his youtube channel and then um look at his one meal a day he talks about it he's one of the great thank you but um yeah i need to hurry up and finish this before i'm going to class I love y'all. Be on the lookout. There's a lot coming this year that I want to work on. And I'll be talking to y'all about it. Because as I talk to y'all, I talk to myself. I reflect on myself. And I know I got a lot to learn. There's more than just 
words to be said. It also has to be actions. So, that being said, love y'all. Hope y'all having a great start to your 2018 year. And without a doubt, Captain Season's on its way. The captain is saluting out right now. Mm, watch out for the games. But, um, uh, 